Let's come to our Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord, we acknowledge that you are our sovereign God, our Lord, our Father. And Lord, if you did nothing else but be God, we would worship you. But you do so much for us, Lord. And so we give you thanks for all the things, both good and bad, the things that you have not necessarily caused or given to us, but things that you have walked with us through or even carried us through. We are thankful in and for all things, Lord God. Lord, we pray for our world. We think of the calamity that is happening all over the world due to COVID. We think of large countries who are warring with words against smaller countries. We think of leaders who see their job as more about power and undoing good than it is about serving and doing good. So, Father, we want to lift up our world leaders to you. Help them make wise decisions, especially with COVID being such a huge thing all over our world. And we thank you that our country has been largely segregated from that. While we have our own COVID issues, Lord, compared to others, we are relatively unscathed. For those, even in our own country, who have caught this virus, Lord, and had to deal with the consequences of that and for those who have passed away we lift up those families and those who are suffering but Lord let us always seek to serve you we lift up our church family to you Lord we think especially of the Thompsons right now and again for decisions that you have helped the family make Lord be with them be their peace their comfort and their strength we ask Lord God Thank you for a church that supports them so faithfully in prayer, in visitation. We pray for our community, Lord, for the people that we see every day, our neighbours. May they come to know you, Lord God, and may you use us to help them do that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the prayer that Jesus Christ has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let's continue to worship as we sing a great song, Rescue the Perishing. 